you know, stopping people from TPing away. Yule Scepter completely legit for doing that. Uh, Darkseer can pick up a Yule Scepter. Nice utility. Gives him the mana regen that he needs as well. And also the Shrak. Like, same reasons. Allow you to see the tree armor's coming up. But this is so much DOT damage being done here. Farnik is just running for his life. Another stun. Getting just stopped in his tracks. And this is going to be the first blood going the way of all. He really is. He's just walking through it. He doesn't care. He knows no fear and he comes solo. He fights this stun, but so far not too much damage. Now Overwolf throws out his ultimate and finally gets stepped down, but so is solo. Just dropping quite quickly and um, small people deeping in, of course. Um, yeah, but still, like the split push is real here from Silent. He just, he just wants to make a lot of stuff happen right now. And he's very high level. He is actually high side in the game with Danny together. And, well, now, speaking of the devil, he's making his way back and... The glyph is being used from Na'Vi and they want to defend this. This is a good decision, but you gotta be careful. This hurts so much and Dandy blinks in. Silent is actually silenced up now from two sides. Now he does. And another TP coming in. Silent, oh no, he just gets blown up. Contested, although there are rotations coming in from Mag, and there's also one coming in from Always Wanna Fly. Mag Always Wanna Fly is actually teeping himself in for this one. Silence behind the tower as well, and well, they're at least going to be able to pick off the deny, and most maybe going down here too. There is going to be the mech beam popped in. A nice split earth catching on two, that's the reason you love it. And then FNG with a huge overgrowth hitting on three heroes. Always Wanna Fly, he's going to take a pull, and really now it's time for Empire just to get themselves out of here. And Silent, he's in a little bit of a precarious situation. He's been split up from the rest of his team, and uh, it looks like he's just he running to the up. side shop to see if he can get yeah, up. He knows he's dying. He's buying yep. a TP, but he can't use it for another 35 seconds. He's so dead right now. And he's going to take a fall as well. So Empire take a couple of kills. And did the tower get denied in the end? Not too much of a rush at the moment. Um, they mm -hmm. still need to see this game out before the lichen gets absolutely massive. But at the moment, they're doing a good job, job of controlling. And Silent's not being able to find too much either. He's got the Yule set to finish. But the Ogre Club's going to be a little bit of a way away. And he's actually now uh, underneath the net worth of Resolution, who has been able to find... You know, reason a reasonable amount with that tower pick off as well. Oh. And in fact, there's going to be another blink here by FNG. He finds another one, this time on three heroes. Instantly, it's going to be Resolution getting completely blown up. And now Solo's falling very low as well. The Doom's going to be over onto Silent. He's going to be the next one to fall. Four heroes on the side of Empire, instantly taking a defeat. And they're just going to tap this one out. GG. 21 minutes into the game. Na'Vi. Look at so the really boss, man. Let's seek my ass. We just go and carry TPs. We just go and kill you. That was a great game. Now, um, because I, I gotta go and take care of something real quick. We're gonna be back in the second game of this. I'm gonna spin in some ads. As usual, if you wanna support this, just uh, disable adblock and mute the stream for a minute. And we're gonna be back. Wakey was with, with me. You can find him on twitter.com slash wakeypixel. My name is Pimpmuckle. You can find me on twitter.com slash pimpmuckl. And we're gonna be in the next game of Navi up against Team Empire. Just a bit. Stay tuned.